Hi, so today we are going to put a clutch on a rammer engine. This is uh, going to be a clutch on a GX100 Honda engine. It's designed for rammers and it's designed to take a super heavy load and jump up and down without braking. So in this case, I, we're just putting a new clutch on it. This one hasn't been built. Um, maybe in your case, your rammer is not jumping. One of the things you should check, if the engine works and the rammer is not jumping, a lot of times it's the clutch. And what happens is it might have broke or it kind of wore down and it's not engaging. The rammer clutch basically spins at a really high speed and then it engages and twists the gearbox of the engine, which then, which then in turn makes the rammer jump. So. Clutches come in kind of this kind of set. You can see off by the hammer is the actual clutch. This is kind of the clutch washer. We're gonna put that on the shaft. Then you're gonna have like a little funky, it's like a half moon key that you're gonna put in that rammer engine. You're gonna place that in right behind the washer. Next you'll put on the actual clutch, which should kind of, it's not gonna slide right in, but you'll be able to get it kind of fit over that key. It's a little tricky and then you might have to hammer it in get it the, the, the rest of the distance. So this is a, takes a little practice, but you'll be able to get it. It's also worth investing in a high quality clutch. We get this one from Japan. I don't really recommend the cheap ones you find on eBay. They wear out really quickly. Maybe after like 10 hours, it's like not worth making the change. Just get the one that's like 100 bucks or 90 or 100. You're seeing one for like 10 or 15 or 20. You're getting what you pay for. It's not worth the time and the labor especially in the states where, you know, mechanics are 50 bucks an hour, maybe 35 if you got your own, or it's just not worth the time. Invest in this stuff, guys. So we're just kind of taking a little socket. This is our just our way. We're hitting it, getting the clutch kind of lined up with it. And once we, and it should kind of slide in the key. The key is a little tricky on this one. It's not like your standard key, which is just like rectangular. This one's like a crescent. Now that it's on, here's just uh, another view of what we did. Just line it up. You'll know when it hits. The key's all the way in place. It's spinning nice, and then we'll put that final washer over it. All right. So here's a closing washer. After the big washer goes off, you're going to put another washer on, and then you're going to bend it just to keep it in place. You don't want it like spinning. It'll make a real funny noise too. You'll know if you didn't tighten that washer like flush against it because if you don't kind of put the secondary washer on and then bend it kind of to hit it tight against the other piece with the bolt, it's gonna, they'll start spinning and make a really loud noise when you're, when the engine moves. Just tightening up that. That nut on the end of it. Just make sure it's secure. Looks good. Here's the part I was talking about. You gotta like kind of bend the little washer in. Just bend it up, clip it up so it doesn't, doesn't move. And that's it. You got a new clutch on it. So now it's ready to go on the actual rammer. You can watch our other video on how to put the a rammer engine on a rammer. Some other models might have a manifold that goes over this. Some of them kind of like directly go in. This one had a manifold like, or just a kind of a piece of a, a little cast aluminum that goes between the rammer gearbox and kind of over the clutch like that. So this one will tighten over. Not all of them are like this, um, but the process is going to be the same for all rammers. If you look at like a multi-quip or a, a whacker or a bow mag. And some different manufacturers might have like a special tool for removing um, clutches because that can be tricky but if it's broken it'll come right off. I mean, 
but you could use any kind of, you can use kind of a, a wide variety of clutch pullers to get a broken clutch off as well. This shouldn't be a common change on a rammer, but it's something to consider, especially if your rammer, if your engine's working really well, but the rammer is just not jumping. This is kind of the first thing I would check. So you'd want to pull the, the engine off of the rammer and just make sure that that actual clutch is not like torn apart or all the springs on the inside are connected. So we're just tightening. Just this doing up. a cross pattern too. Instead of doing clockwise, we're kind of doing opposite corners to that tightening method. All right, and that is it. Thanks for watching.